Okay. Good afternoon, West Tennessee. Just a real quick weather update. We had a new severe thunderstorm warning that was issued recently. I will go ahead and take a look at that here on the Storm Tracker 7 Max radar to let you know what's going on here locally. So here's a quick look at Storm Tracker 7 Max radar. This is kind of the home view here over West Tennessee. We do have several thunderstorms area wide, although there's a clear area that has a little bit more instability than the rest of the area. And I'm Martin demarked that with that uh, dotted line there that's basically right along I 40 at the moment. We'll go in a little tight here on the storm that is produced in the current warning at the moment. It's almost out of Chester County at this point. In fact, they just updated the warning to pull Henderson out of that warning. So this severe thunderstorm warning is only for the eastern portions of Chester County, southern uh, southern uh, Henderson County, of course. It's the strongest part of this will stay just south of Lexington, although I do know you've got a lot of heavy rain and some loud thunder and lightning going on there in Lexington. The strongest part of that storm will stay to your south. I did put a track on this storm and I'm going to need to update it here to kind of give you uh, some times of arrival uh, for the communities that are in, uh, in line to see this storm. So we've got the community of Enville. It's pretty much knocking on the door right now. It's going to be there in about nine minutes. Regan, we've got 155. Scotts Hill, we've got 210. Darden, at 216 Parsons. It'll be up there by about 228. It's moving to the northeast at about 50 miles per hour. And then uh, uh, it'll be in Bustletown there by the 241. That's just on the other side of the Tennessee River. Uh, and we'll go ahead and take a look at this on the uh, wind side. They're primarily concerned about wind on this storm anyways. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that. Just a little bit of weak rotation uh, right along the Chester and Henderson County line. You can see it uh, clearly here. I'll uh, just go ahead and draw the uh, point it out here for you and uh, show you that there is just a little bit of shear going on. It's not a lot, but it's uh, right. We've got a little bit going on here. Again, it's going to continue to work its way off to the northeast. Again, bringing that uh, straight line wind threat right into uh, uh, the boot hill, basically, of Henderson County near Sardis, Scotts Hill, places like that. I do want to show you just what's going on dynamically across the region. Notice, again, this valley is demarcating where we have instability. It's a lot stronger south and east of Jackson right now. The rest of the area is actually pretty stable, at least for now. We do, however, expect this boundary to lift back to the north again a little bit later on this afternoon when the bigger wave that's out to the west starts to interact with it. Right now, it's out along the Red River and it's going to be making its way into western Arkansas and eventually here in West Tennessee a little bit later on tonight. But we do have to deal with this round of showers and storms in the meantime until we get to that point. Of course, I do want to go <coughs> excuse me, over our household items. We have, again, still a flash flood or flood water. Watch. That's an effect for all of West Tennessee. And of course, most of the area I was just looking at the rainfall totals were generally between about three and five inches of rain across a good, a good portion of West Tennessee. And that's area wide. Of course, we're going to be adding a lot more rain to that again tonight, probably at least another two to four inches on top of what we've already had. Here's a look at the current tor tornado watch. Again, it's not it does not include all of West Tennessee. In fact, Trenton, Alamo, Paris, Martin, Tennessee Union City, not in Dyersburg, not included in this tornado watch. Although you do have some showers and thunderstorms in the area, but as I showed you, the instability is generally in the eastern and southeastern half of West Tennessee right now. So in the short term, at least over the next couple hours, it looks like we're going to be limited to mainly hail 
and damaging winds for now. But again, later on when that upper level energy arrives here, that will be causing more problems a little bit later on this afternoon. So to sort of re-rack again to show you what's going on, we'll go ahead and put this in motion to show you how this has been playing out. More showers are behind us, but all the instability is to the east and southeast of that line that extends basically from Benton County, southern Benton County over to Memphis and northern Shelby County. And that's where we expect these storms to be a little stronger, at least through the afternoon hours. We'll go in tight again one more time here to show you uh, where this is going on again. Henderson, the, the, the damaging wind threat is off to the east. If you have any damage, let me know about that. I, I did an update also on the social media, so let me know on there if you have any damage over in, in the Henderson area because it looks like there was 50 to 60 mile per hour winds that pushed through Henderson not too long ago. And that's continuing to make its way into eastern Chester County, the boot hill of uh, Henderson County, and it looks like we're taking a power hit here at the studio. And again, <coughs> also into Decatur County. Uh, McNary County is is included in this, uh, this this severe thunderstorm warning, even though, again, the strongest part of the storm is going to miss Selmer completely. Although there is heavy rain and thunder in summer, we do understand that there are some recovery efforts still ongoing down in Selmer this morning. But it looks like this particular round, the heaviest of the round, is going to stay to the north of the region. Uh, we'll uh, uh, we'll go back and just kind of re-rack everything, go through everything one more time here for you. we got a flood watch again for everybody. That's going to go through 6 a.m. We do expect multiple rounds of strong storms again this afternoon and then again this evening. The tornado threat goes up a little bit later on this evening when that upper level energy arrives into West Tennessee, and that's what's going to cause problems a little bit later on as we get into the evening. Uh, but here's a quick look at Storm Tracker 7 Max Radar. And again, we've got, uh, again, uh, showers and storms area-wide. And yes, I know we hear the thunder here. There's no severe thunderstorm warning for Jackson or Madison County. This is just plain old rain that's falling with some pretty nasty thunder and lightning. <coughs> but again, the strongest storms are over now in Henderson County. It looks like a pretty good storm moving into Lexington right now, although the strongest of it is down a little bit further south. We're going to go ahead and take a look again at another uh, look at the times of arrival. I'm going to adjust this. It's moving about 50 miles an hour, so it's moving fairly quickly. So we need to adjust these times frequently for that reason. Here we go. So right now it's in Enville right now. Uh, we've got Scotts Hill at 206, Darden at 211. Again, this is for the damaging wind threat. So it's moving into Darden by 211. Parsons, if it holds together, it'll be arriving there about 224. And then, of course, uh, Bustletown is on the other side of the Tennessee River. We don't cover that area. Uh, We'll be in studio, and if we need a, a break in programming once again, we'll have another update shortly.